So in order to illustrate how to produce scatter plots, which are relationships between multiple variables or two variables in particular, we will be using some COVID data. <clears throat> if you're in my course, you can download this file from the Blackboard site. You can also get it from the description down, uh, downstairs. So source link, these data are from the European Center for Disease Control. There's a link in a spreadsheet of where the data come from and the data are just download from there. So we'll look at the cross-section tab. What we have here is <clears throat> it's a sort of weekly data, but what we have here in this spreadsheet on this sheet only are the week 10 in 2022 case rates, COVID case rates, as they have been reported by the government. We know the possibly imperfect data for just a host of countries. How many countries have we got here? Countries and territories, I should say 220, um, 220 of these. And um, uh, along with the case rates, you also have your population, health expenditure, GDP per capita, and uh, also log GDP per capita here. And um, so we want scatter diagram. We want to, for instance, show the, whether there is a relationship between how much in a country is spelled on health. These numbers here are percentages of GDP and uh, the case rates. So do in countries where there's more expenditure on, uh, on health, are there perhaps lower case rates or the other way around? So we want a scatter diagram. Let's try and do it quick and easy. And we'll turn out that in this particular case, unfortunately, we'll have to do some manipulation first. Highlight the two columns we want to show as a scatter diagram. Go to insert. There's a little scatter symbol here. And if we want scatter. And here's the scatter diagram. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But perhaps you can. what you can see here is that health expenditure is shown on the vertical axis and the case rates are on the horizontal axis. And that's perfectly fine. But for our purpose, it's possibly better to turn that around. Now, unfortunately, there isn't, at least not um, that I'm aware of, a very simple way to just turn that around. The reason why I want to have the health expenditure on the horizontal axis and the case rates on the vertical axis is because we're perhaps sort of investigating the question whether it's the health expenditure that causes case rates. Although it will clearly turn out that this is too simple. And if we are thinking of something like an explanatory variable, we usually want to have it on the horizontal axis. So what Excel does is if you highlight two columns and you create a scatter diagram, what it does is that the column on the left turns into the horizontal axis. So here that's the case rates and the column on the right into the vertical axis. So that doesn't work. So sometimes the following trick will work uh, for, for something in Excel. You first highlight the health expenditure and then press control and then highlight the case rate. Let's see how that works. Insert charts press that, but again, it does the same thing. So what we actually need to do temporarily, temporarily is in, put a new column in here and we copy the case rate over here. Now we can highlight these two columns and now we have health expenditure on the left. So we go to insert our scatter diagram and now you have a scatter plot which has on the vertical axis, the case rates, on the horizontal axis, the health expenditure. Perhaps we want to manipulate the data a little bit more. Uh, for instance, we may want to put into the title that um, this is for 2022 week 10. Uh, that may be important information. We uh, perhaps on the horizontal axis want to add what these numbers are. They represent health expenditure as a percentage of GDP. So we highlight the graph, go to add chart element. So we're in the tab chart design, add chart element, uh, access title, primary horizontal. And then we just add what that is, health expenditure. And that's in percent of GDP. 
capitalize that. Well, something didn't work like I expected it to do. Um, if that happens to you uh, in Excel, click this undo button or you can do it with the keyboard by control set control set is undo so i'll do control set Oof, that works okay not quite sure what happened here okay and here is a perfectly nice uh graph now we may want to do the same with gdp okay we have gdp uh, if you look at this picture you can see it has no obvious a uh, case to be made for health expenditure being very strongly correlated with the case rates at least not when we pick the data from a particular week now let's do the same with gdp so again we want gdp on the horizontal axis so we want that to be the left one that means on the right we have to basically we have to put the case rates to the right so i just Control X and Control V them, so we can delete that column again. So here we have our well, here we have our two columns. Now we want the graph. Let's say here. So we have the two columns. Go to Insert, Scatter, and here is our scatter diagram. What you can see here again let's do our little um little manipulation this is gdp per capita okay so we want to see that on the horizontal axis so axis title primary horizontal gdp per capita okay so we have that here of course again we may want to say here from what point in time these data come so what you can see what's quite difficult in this graph here is that most of the countries you see there's just a very big blue blob here because that's so many countries which have very low gdp per capita and then only a few countries which are up here so when we use data like this gdp per capita we therefore quite often transform gdp per capita into log gdp so this is what we've already done here if we look at log gdp you can see that uh, that is just ln of that gdp number let's again take the case rate and put it right next to so x here and v here and put case rate next to log gdp and let's delete that so now we create a scatter plot for these variables so and what you now see is and let's put that graph let's just move that down here okay let's uh, firstly add that element axis title primary horizontal um log of gdp per capita okay so firstly what you can see the the log starts over here at between five and six so perhaps we want to change the uh how the x axis shows so we go to axis options so we double click the horizontal axis then we go to axis options you see it shows from minimum to maximum 14. for this case we'll perhaps want to show it from let's say five onwards and then the data will just look a little bit uh, less clumped together. So you, now you can see there's still a lot of information here on that axis where we have very low case rates and very low GDP. So now it looks at actually a little bit more as if higher GDPs seem to be correlated with higher uh, case rates. Now there could be all sorts of reasons importantly perhaps the recording system maybe that richer countries have better systems of actually recording COVID cases so i don't want to over interpret this graph whatsoever but what i wanted to demonstrate here is that it can matter in in important ways whether gdp is used like as what we call a level variable or as a log variable and the the, the log variable just sort of 
um, rescales that in a very useful way so we can see actually a little bit more information.